Welcome back guys to another beer review, spoiling you this weekend. Uh, what have I done? Three. Two have gone up, one's pretty much uploaded, and I'm back with another one now. And I may even do another one later, uh, we'll see. Now, this beer is going to be a first for me. I've never had it before anyway, not even before the channel. And it's going to be, a, which obviously means it's going to be a first for the channel as well. Uh, I've never had this style of beer before. Uh, so it should be interesting. I've had to do a little bit of research. And uh, this one is uh, a bottle of Fru, I'm guessing that's how you say it, Fru Kolsch. Uh, it's a German style lager. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on it because I'm not up with every style of beer. Uh, but it's saying that it's gonna be light, very low bitterness, uh, virtually no bitterness, I think. Uh, slightly fruity, it's gonna have a malty sort of taste, it's going to be crisp, it's going to be refreshing and they reckon the hops are just added really just to accentuate flavours in it. So it should be quite interesting to see what it's going to be like. Uh, I mean, the only way I'm going to find out is by opening this beer, isn't it, and uh, getting on with it. Unfortunately, I don't have a proper Kolsch glass, which are literally just straight tumblers, if you like. So I'm afraid that's the nearest thing I've got. So we've got a Heineken pint glass to bang it in. I love the branding. I know you can pick up, actually funny enough, Trembling Madness do, I think it's 12 pint glasses of the this brand for something like 15 quid. Now, uh, I am tempted, I've got to admit, I am tempted to buy 15. I don't obviously then probably keep three or four and sell the rest on, I expect, but uh, I may make a little bit of profit at the same time. But uh, Anyway, we'll go, get away from that. We'll get away from that. So, love the branding. I do like that. It's always caught me eye, and I love that bowl cap. That's a little beauty, that is. So, uh, this was, it's 4.8%, by the way. 500ml bottle. This was in the German pack that I got. So, I reckon you're looking around £2.50 for the bottle. So, like I say, let's shut up, get this beer in a glass, see what we get. Quite looking forward to this. Got a chilli coming afterwards. And I have tried a little bit of it. And I'll be honest with you, it had a fair old, it had a fair, oh shit, got that wrong, didn't I? It had a fair old kick to it. So, uh, so this should take the edge off it. So, in a glass, very light straw colour, pretty much crystal clear, good carbonation in there. Two finger, a quite spacious white head on top. So, Let's dive in with the nose, see what we get. My first experience of this style, so. There is a, a light hoppy aroma in there. Fruity, I wouldn't say I'm really picking much up on the, well, it's kind of fruity floral, I'm not really sure. But I'm not picking an awful lot up from it. A mild hop smell with a, a, a maybe a fruity floral notes in there. Uh, but that's about it for me. So without further ado, let's dive in. Fourth beer of the day and why not? It's Saturday and see what we get and see if I like it most importantly really. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let's go in again. Quite a nice body to the beer. It's nicely carbonated. It's, for me, it's a little bit more carbonated than what some of the other German beers are that I've had. Not bad mouthfeel, quite smooth. I'm getting more of a malty taste in this beer, uh, which is which is a little bit odd with the beer being so light. Uh, I'm getting a little a little bitterness on the back end. Malty in there. There is a, a, a bit of a fruity taste in there. 
Uh, and funny enough, I, I read another bit and it said it uses uh, Aeol yeast and what have you. So I don't know if that's that's bringing. I, I'm going to guess it is. Uh, it's it's bringing like a like that fruity ale sort of taste that you do get in in like a, a typical sort of ale. Uh, but obviously this is lager. It's not a huge fruity sort of hit in there. A tad, a, a, a tad breadiness in there, but not, you know, it, the breadiness in there would be something that I would say maybe you could miss because it is that sort of subtle and there is such a, a real sort of subtle sweetness in there but it's it's quite nice it's uh it's a little bit different uh being the, the vienna malt uh lager that i done the wiener lager wiener lager whatever you want to call it that has the darkness it it's got like a roastiness to it and you sort of look at the beer and you expect that malty taste that sort of dark malt taste to it whereas this you don't sort of expect it so much uh when you're looking at the beer but you like i say you do get it in there and it is it does grow on you and i actually think there's a little bit more bitterness in in this beer than i was expecting uh but it's a nice beer and that, that, that fruity, fruitiness in there does just slightly shine through. Uh, I'm not going to say actually it, it's the ale yeast that gives it that fruitiness. It's got to be with the hops. It's got to be with the hops to be honest. It does just give you that mild fruitiness in there. But it makes it really nice. Uh, it gives it a nice subtle sweetness. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it does make that beer, the, the beer is a little bit lighter uh, than other lagers. Uh, it, pff, for a first time, I'm quite impressed with the style. Uh, it's very different. I don't think it's going to be to everyone's taste. But I think it's one of them that maybe if you had a couple of pints of it, a lot like a vice beer really, if you got a couple of pints in, you would actually appreciate the style and realise actually it's, it's very nice and very drinkable. So for me, my first time on a Kolsch, uh, I quite enjoyed the style. I quite enjoy that, uh, and I would certainly pick. I would certainly pick that one up again, but I'd be intrigued to try uh, a different style one. So uh, for me, well worth picking up and worth a try. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you're thinking about it, because I'll be much appreciative of that. Uh, as I say, getting close to the big one now, so it'd be really cool if I could get there by this weekend. Hopefully, my videos are still interesting you. Hopefully, I'm not talking too much crap on them and going on too long, which I probably am. So I'm going to shut the hell up, let you get back to enjoying your weekend, get back to enjoying your drinking, and I'll say bye and I'll see you on another one. Cheers!